What's up, everybody? This week, we wrapped up the final trading days for the stock market in 2023. And what an amazing year it turned out to be. So today, I want to give a complete end of the year review for all the stocks that I covered throughout the year. Now, my goal is to give you a brief overview of the performance of each stock since I've already given a deep dive on each one earlier throughout the year. So if you want more information on the stocks I'm talking about today, check out my previous videos. Now, looking back at January 3rd, the first trading day of 2023, the Dow opened at 33,000 points. Fast forward over the rest of the year to the month of December, and the market closed at a record high over 37,000 points. Now, as you can see in this chart, in December, it was incredible. Investors were optimistic about inflation trending down and the Fed pausing rates. In addition, the Fed indicated that they might cut rates at least three times in 2024. So, the first stock I want to talk about is Tesla. On January 3rd, which was the first day of trading for 2023, Tesla's stock fell to $108 a share. A lot of people panicked and sold their shares. But on that day, I posted a video stating that while most people were panicking, I was buying more shares. I talked about how Tesla has been beating delivery expectations over the years and how they are so far ahead of their competitors and all their competitors are struggling to catch up. I also talked about how, you know, they're coming out the semi trucks, the Tesla bots and their long awaited cyber truck, which they are finally delivering to customers now. Let's take a look at their chart. On January 3rd, I said that Tesla was a buy at $108.10. Today, Tesla is $248.48. Those who invested made a 129% return. You more than doubled your money. Next up, on January 28th, I posted a video covering my top four stocks under $10. This includes New Holdings, Rocket Lab, Nikola, and Palantir. Let's look at each one. Looking at New Holdings, in my video, I talked about how they are the largest digital bank in Latin America. They continue to grow their customer base, including throughout Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. I also talked about how Warren Buffett is invested in the company. Let's look at the chart. Back in January on the 28th, their stock was sitting at $4.37. Today, they're sitting at $8.33. If you invested, that's a 90% return. You nearly doubled your money. Congrats. Next up, Rocket Lab. In my video, I talked about how since SpaceX is privately owned, I believe that the best publicly owned company to invest in is Rocket Lab. They're basically a mini SpaceX. The company 3D prints rocket engines and launches them into orbit. They have contracts with multiple government agencies, including NASA, the Space Force, and this month they won a $500 million government contract to design, manufacture, deliver, and operate 18 space vehicles. Let's look at the chart. Back on January 28th, their stock was $4.94 a share. Now in July, it crossed eight bucks a share, so if you decided to sell in July, congrats, you nearly doubled your money. If you chose to hold your shares, congrats, because you are still up 11%. Next up, Nikola. Now this is the riskiest stock I'm invested in, and I've mentioned this several times on my page. In my video, I talked about how a lot of people doubt and hate the company, but I believe they are doubted and hated just like Tesla was many years ago. Tesla was doubted and hated because they were doing something that no other automaker was doing at the time. And so is Nikola. The company is going to change the world through the use of hydrogen and battery electric semi trucks. Now the company did have a rough beginning. They actually replaced that CEO and people doubted that Nikola would even be able to open their factory in Arizona. They opened their factory and fast forward to today, they are delivering trucks to customers across the US. Now, a lot of investors want to talk about their stocks when they're up, but I also talk about my stocks when I'm down. And Nikola is one of them. Looking at the chart, 
During my video on January 28th, their stock was sitting at $2.70 a share. Over the year, the company needed to raise more capital, which in turn brought down the share price. And this is a risky part of whenever you invest in a new company. New companies often need to raise more capital to get their business up and running. So it takes a lot of patience. Over the year, Nicola's stock went from $2.77 a share to the current price of $0.87 cents a share. So I'm down 68%. For Nicola, my plan is just to hold on to my shares. I might even buy more shares at this price to lower my dollar cost average. Again, this is my riskiest investment, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. And though their stock is down, they are continuing to make progress slowly. So I'm just going to continue to be patient with this stock and hold. Um, I got into their stock as a long-term investment. So just like all my other stocks, I can afford to be patient. This is also why it's so important to have a diversified portfolio. I see some people who invest all their money into one company and that's extremely risky. The reason you want to invest in multiple companies is in case one is down, hopefully your others are up. So in my case, Nikola's down, but Tesla's up, New Holdings is up. Rocket Lab is up. So the last company I spoke about in my video on January 28th was Palantir. I've actually been covering this company for a couple years now. I think since 2021 on my Facebook page. That was before I joined YouTube on 2022. But back in January of this year, at that time, most people had never heard of the company. Even to this day, a lot of people still have not heard of Palantir. Now in my video, I spoke about how they were ranked number one in the world for their artificial intelligence platform. They have contracts with the Army, Navy, Space Force, CDC, Homeland Security, Lockheed Martin, Airbus, and so much more. They've also been helping Ukraine fight Russia, and they're helping Israel. Around November, they reported their fourth consecutive quarter of gap profitability and became eligible to join the S&P 500. That's huge. Looking at the chart, back on January 28th, their stock was sitting at $7.55 a share. Today, their stock is $17.17 a share. If you invested, congrats, that's a 127% return. You more than doubled your money. The next company I wanna talk about is Real Broker. On November 19th, I posted a deep dive video on the company talking about how they are the fastest growing real estate brokerage in the country. I also spoke about how they have this amazing technology and how they're doing things that no other real estate broker is doing. To this day, a lot of people still have not heard of Real Broker. The company's been performing well in this current real estate market. And so before more people find out, more institutions find out about the company, I wanna get in early while the stock is cheap. In my video, I also discussed their recent upgraded price target. So let's look at the chart. Back on November 19th, their stock was sitting at $1.39 a share. One month later, today, their stock is $1.60. So if you, can, if you invested, congrats, you are up 15% in just about a month. The last stock I want to talk about is Amazon. I've actually been covering Amazon for a couple years now, but in my latest video, which was on July 11th, Amazon Prime Day, I talked about how Amazon is a solid company to invest in because people are so addicted to Amazon. People shop at Amazon, they stream movies on Amazon, they stream music on Amazon. People go crazy about buying things from Amazon, yet they won't buy ownership of the company. It's a no-brainer to invest in Amazon. Let's look at that chart. On July 11th, their stock was sitting at $128 a share. Today, $151 a share. Keep in mind, I've been talking about Amazon for a couple of years now. But if you're someone who just found my video on in back in July and you invested, then you're up 17% in just five months. 
Now, back in October 2022, I actually posted a video talking about buying Amazon at $114 a share. So if you bought in October 2022, you're up 32%. Again, if you want to deep dive on any of these companies I just talked about, all you have to do is check out my previous videos. That's it for today. For those who have been investing with me throughout this year, congratulations. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe so you won't miss any of my updates. I cover stocks and the real estate market. Also, make sure you join me on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, I must disclose, do your own research before investing because nothing is guaranteed. I am not a licensed financial advisor. And I'll end it by saying this. You work hard for your money. Make your money work harder for you.